A 16-month-old boy shot in the head and rushed to Mott Children's Hospital today. This happened in an arbor at a home on North Maple between Miller and Dexter. It happened this afternoon. Victor Williams is there now with the very latest on the investigation. Still a lot of unanswered questions in terms of the events that led to this child being shot. This is where it all unfortunately played out. As far as we know, this child is in the ER right now, but neighbors nearby cannot believe it. I mean, 16 months old, I'm just in track. I don't, I don't even know what to say. Casey Shannon is absolutely heartbroken reacting to a 16 month old being shot in the head just around the corner from her home. I mean, we live in such a safe neighborhood. I have two kids, five and 10. Like it, it's just right here and I, I'm just shocked. This is Ann Arbor. Like, you know, it's just a very, very safe community. It just doesn't happen in my community. It really doesn't. So it's just tragic. The circumstances leading to the baby's injury is still unclear. Police got the unfortunate call from a home in the 700 block of North Maple Road around one Sunday afternoon. As officers were heading to the scene, that's when they located the child's father driving to the hospital as fast as he could. EMS crews were able to get the baby to U of M Mott Children's ER, where it still is currently being treated. Thank God. I mean, there's always hope. As a mother, I, I could want for nothing more. It's just, it's just tragic, but thank God the child's still alive. And if they're at Michigan, at least we have a great health system here. And my thoughts and prayers with, with the whole family. Police are saying there's no danger to the public and that this was an isolated incident. Regardless, Casey is just pulling for the child to make it through. I work with kids. I have two of my own. This is just shocking, just shocking and tragic. But my prayers and thoughts with the family and I hope that baby lives. And our prayers are with this 16 month old. More details are expected to come to light as this investigation continues. And of course, we'll keep you updated both on air and online. And Ann Arbor, Victor Williams, Local 4.